Hello Scorpios, how are you doing? My beautiful, beautiful Scorpios, how are you? Uh, we're going to get into our reading here in just a second. I want to say thank you Scorpios for all the uh, people I'm meeting on Zoom uh, through your personal reading. I hope um, you're on your your way to being happy and healing and um, seeing the things that, um, you know, that's in your life. And I want to say thank you to Cheryl. Thank you so much. I started saying your last name. <laughs> thank you so much for that generous donation. I mean, that just blew my mind. But um, and thank you, Tatiana. Always good seeing you. And thank you to Carol Peachy, who gave me a donation. Thank you so much. Um, if I have not mentioned your name, um, I will go back and look. But thank you, Scorpios, for being part of my life. I'm a Scorpio sun and a Scorpio moon. So, um... You know, I am strong in Scorpio. I'm a double Scorpio. So, I do understand your heart. I do understand your spirit. I understand the things you go through. I understand uh, what you need to, you know, I don't candy coat something just to make you feel good. But I do read from my perspective and my feelings. And I have not asked questions yet. So, some cards are already want to jump. So, I do. Um, but if you like a personal reading reach out to me in the description box uh this week i'm almost full and uh, some next week but um please go ahead if you like a personal reading uh let go ahead and get your name reserved first come first serve so it's like that right so um i have to fill those time slots for people so if you'd like a reading for next week just let me know i will put you on the schedule on the reservations i will send after that after you pay on paypal the conscription box, if you pay that, I will send you a Zoom link to meet me face-to-face -face and see your great, handsome, and beautiful faces. It's amazing how great you are around the world. Um, even though we never meet or anything like that, just know that I, it was great meeting you and talking to you. Just never know who we meet on our journey, right? So, Scorpio, so take a look at the past videos I have posted. If you have had a personal reading, let me know in the um, on my community page, on the main page of YouTube. So just leave me a comment there, and I might do a poll or something. So anyway, so if you like a personal reading, I'd love to help you on your journey to help you get to a better place. Um, that's what my job is, I think, for doing this, okay? All right, Scorpio, let's get into, ooh, there you go, the king of wands. Ooh, the sun is there. So, yeah, it did go this way because this came out first. So, angel, guys, and spirits, show me the cards for Scorpio. Okay. Ooh, Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. <laughs> I don't know what to say with this, but um, Scorpio, you have a overall energy. Here's the sun card, you know, which is the... A really strong card here. You could be dealing with a Leo or fire sign here with a definitely some fire signs here. Um, King of Wands here, and then you have a Five of Pentacles and the Tower in reverse, and you have the Chariot card in reverse. Okay, the King of Wands could be you, male or female, it does not matter. Let me see here. What is that talking about? So let's see, Scorpio, starting off your energies. Okay. Scorpio, 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 I'll just said that right. I do feel like here, this person that walked away from you, that left you in a cold, gave you silence, did not speak to you, did not have much to do with you, went silent on you. And they kind of, you thought they just kind of ghosted you or disappeared on you because you call you know part of that of them was thinking they were always right. Maybe they were playing with your feelings here. They were playing with your heart, your energy, your happiness. But this King of Wands had a lot of passion for you. Especially with that sun card being there. Because, you know, the sun is about happiness and living life to the fullest and having a lot of energy, right? So, with this sun card here, I feel like this person 
looked at you as the sun. It's kind of like looking at the sun. You brought some very st strong happiness to this person's life, Scorpio. And for some unknown reason, this person decided this was not going to work for them. And I felt like this is a lot of fear base, a lot of energy where a person didn't know what they wanted, but they, you know, it's just that that's the King of Wands energy. And, but I'm reading from your person's energy that they decide to walk away, you know, try out other things in life. But the tower moment, you got in this disagreement, this fight, or something happened where you could possibly have found out some things, but you caused a tower moment. But they probably try to blame you a little bit. But anyway, because that's why they walked away. They blamed you for that tower moment. But they are kicking themselves now for walking away from you. And now they want to rebuild and not, they just can't. For some reason, Scorpio, you have this, you know, I'm going to speak from a sport, scorp, as a Scorpio at this moment. This person, I'm just talking about in intimacy, okay, because the king of wands and that hot sun right there, you know, it'll burn you. When you touch them, you know, before you, they were trying to, they may have been going through people and different people and different people. But once they met you, Scorpio, I feel like you taught this, them a lesson with that tower moment. And it upset them. They're like, I'm not dealing with Scorpio anymore. I'm out of here. But they decided, you know, after they calmed down their energy here with that passion for you, when they kind of calm down their temperament uh they're waking up to some kind of thinking that they can't move on from you scorpio they just can't you know they didn't know what they wanted and now they don't they can't move on and they want to rebuild here with you and trying to win you back after doing that to you but they you know it could be this case where Two people just clashed, right? Their personalities just clashed. But this person's hoping that a second chance here with that tower moment. All right, let's see what else is in your person's energy. What is in the, for Scorpio's energy for this person? What is this person feeling for Scorpio? Sun, moon, Venus, and rising angel, guys, and spirit. Show me the cards, please. And another card for following the Four of Wands. Yeah. A Four of Swords. I'm sorry about that. Uh, the Five of Swords. What is that energy with that Five of Swords energy? Now, this is your person's current energy. They are thinking heavily about you. Yeah, they can't move on from this. Um, mm -mm, these, this, 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 they, they're trying to figure something out here, Scorpio. Now, this is not a new person. We might show up later, I don't know, but I feel like this is a person that is, that hurt you, evidently. They walked away and ghosted you, and you had to figure things out on your own and be alone and um, heal yourself. Because this really hurt you a lot with that Five of Swords energy. It upset you. It made you angry. It made you feel unanswered questions to why this person walked away from you and just abandoned the relationship. And so you had some fights. And I mean, I feel like you text this person many times and you told them your thoughts. And um, internally, this really bothered the both of you. To be honest, okay, I'm not just speaking for this person, but um, they were very upset with the things that you said. And I think you just lashed out at them. You know, you pulled out that Scorpio tail, you know. But even after you did all this, they know they hurt you. They That's how they knew you were in love with them. The Two of Wands is here in reverse. There is still that energy from them. They cannot walk away from you. I don't, it's just that you put the <laughs> the magic boom boom power on them. And they can't forget you. Simple as that. No matter how long, how, how many times you told them 
to go away. You don't want to have nothing to do with them. They still return. Three of Pentacles here is saying they're going. They're trying to work and to figure this out because they are not in this harmonious state. They're not at peace with. So they're trying to figure to bring back stability. Bring back. They they know you have lost patience. Dealing with this situation, and that's why that tower moment came. You just, you were caught between a rock and a hard place. You love someone, but they weren't giving you the love that you deserved. What do they think about Scorpio? What do they think about Scorpio? What are their feelings towards Scorpio? But they're not, they're not um, moving they're not going anywhere. It's almost like a hangman energy. They feel bad for hurting you. I mean, I think this person was so cocky and arrogant in the beginning. And if you shut them down or told them your thoughts. There's the Nada Ones. What was this person doing with the Nada Ones energy? Nine of Pentacles, please. What is the card? For, what is their energy for the Nine of Pentacles for, for Scorpio? All right, there you are on the bottom of the deck, the death card. Now, just keep in mind when um, I'm going into, and you have the Eight of Wands here as well. When I do a personal reading, you know, I get really heavy and very and dig deep into your reading. It's double this or triple this. So I really go deep into the reading. Um, what I'm getting from this Scorpio is this not a wands. It could be two people here, but I'm I'm just gonna say it's this one person that he still has a lot of passion for you. I, I'm not sure if he's quite ready for a relationship or not. Just like up here, the King of Wands and Nine of Wands are kind of the same energy. It's just that I feel like maybe possibly his energy, he's thinking back here about how he treated you in that Nine of Wands energy. Very passionate. Came in, Blazer like Romeo, you know, saying he's, you know, his words that match his actions or their actions. A lot of fluff with their words. That's what a knight kind of does. You have not received an apology yet from this person. And I think they just can't face you. They can't, at this moment, they want to do this in person. Um, they feel like apologizing to you. This is why they're kind of being quiet. They feel like if they, they, they don't know what to actually tell you. With that page of cups. I mean, they say, okay, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Um, because I abandoned you. Because I hurt you. Uh, because I had to go to work. And I didn't have to make time for you. I left you on red. You know, I didn't answer your text messages. I just pulled my energy back to that nine of wands. And when they did that, they know. And they could have had another person. Actually, three of swords. But it's in reverse. So... This is, regardless, it was some type of heartbreak. A strong heartbreak. For you and them. Because it's in the center. It's playing both sides. So, now, they're wanting to make an apology to you. But they feel like, they're not, not sure if this is going to do any good or not. But they are very fearful here. With that seven of wands, they're just kind of like holding themselves back, not being vulnerable. Um, and they know they owe you a part. They know they want to make some type of um, coming in to you with the Knight of Pentacles to make a bigger offer to you. To give you something a little more than you, because they know, but they their fear here looks like they're blocking, their, blocking this energy. But you have the death card here about transformation. So they do, they are aware that they're going to have to change for you. And they need to do this quickly, okay, because 
they know that this is an energy where you're you're probably moving on and you know they know that you care about them they know that you love them okay they know this but i just think that they don't know what to say to you after all this time this person's been gone a while some changes they need to do and they know it with the seven of wands they know they need to change so let me change the deck. So um, I always love my classic. So for this situation that you're in, they do start to, you making this person realize a lot of things about that will happen. And it's a life lesson too, right? So it's something that, you know, this person has learned through you and you must, you know, they didn't think they would ever fall in love with you either. And I think that's part of the fear here that they develop feelings and they thought when they walked away from you, it was going to disappear. Because this is what they always kind of done as that player energy. They kind of always walk away people and, you know, because they didn't have the feelings. It didn't bother them. You know, I'm just going to move on to the next person. But they met you, Scorpio. Okay. And they know you're right with the, what you told them i don't i think you stood you stood up to them and this is where they realized like wow i i you know I, I didn't even know i was doing this i thought people just didn't care and they may have been hurt badly before and they passed this thing on to you but they 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 respect you and it's like they feel like you're the one for them but they don't want to admit it you know they don't know they they love you and they stare at your pictures and these kinds of things i'm sure but they're just trying to find a way to work to make things more peaceful with you and they do want a second chance all right so let's see what their plans are for you scorpio because we see here the nine of pentacles they want to make you some kind of offer before it's too late to speak to you they still they can't you know like i said this has been several months this person's thinking about you on a daily basis here. Okay, if there were eight days in a week, they're thinking of you of eight days in a week, okay? If they could. Wow, there's the lover's card. Could be dealing with a Gemini. All right, so let's see what their plans are with you, Scorpio. They are planning. They, I told you, even before I got all this, they saw you as a soulmate. Okay, it's like things that are happening. What is this emperor about? Angel, guys, and spirit. What is their plans with Scorpio? They want forgiveness here. They won't take control of this situation and, and win your heart. What's their plans with Scorpio here? They don't want to... They, they, they want to make up. Yeah, that's what I said. They want to have make-up love. They want to make, make up boom boom stuff or or they want you to put their their your love spell back on them. They feel like you, they're in a um, trance like they have never been in love, Scorpio. This is what I feel like. You touch this person's heart. But they're scared because they have never had nobody touch their heart. Isn't that sad? Do you have to put up with this? No. And they, they, they cannot, even if they're gone a year, this person is like, they're not knowing what to say to you. That's why I said they feel rejected here. Like, not rejected like she, Scorpio's not going to want me back, that kind of rejection. But it's more like, I don't know what to say. This person has like a low self-esteem, low confidence. And this is why they ran away, Scorpio. They just had... They don't know that commitment to them scares them. There's a judgment card. They're trying to decide what to do. There's a hermit. In the reverse, there's, there's a page of cups on the bottom of the deck. Clarify the page of cups. I just want to see. Because they do want to try to um, get out of this hermit mode. Uh, being alone and come back and offer you an apology or some kind of token of truth 
but they they're very trying to be very sweet with you so you can be dealing with another water sign that's or someone who has um water in their placement somewhere because this is very yeah i saw that queen of swords earlier but i wasn't going to take it out as if you go back and rewind you'll see the queen of swords he, they, this person, he or she thinks, um, they know you're very, they're waiting on you to, um, make the first move, to get into a space of, you know, Scorpio, I'm working a lot of hours, you know that Scorpio, I'm busy, and while they're busy, they're still thinking about you, um, but in your energy, you're going to have to come a little softer towards them because in that queen of swords energy, you th they think you're going to slice them, but they can't get you, they can't get you off their mind. And for some reason, they feel like, you know, you're this queen, right? You're this queen energy and they're like, I'm not going to be able to match up with Scorpio. This is part of their insecurities. So you see how the pentacles go up? And they're still working and working and there's pentacles on the ground. Um, they're trying to level up to your level, Scorpio, maybe financially. And they they know that they're not going to get to your level. Even if it's your love level, they feel like, you know, what can I give up? What do I have to offer Scorpio? She, she or he has everything. And that's why I said love to them is more about... Um, they believe the man or the woman is going to take from them. You know, whether it's money or whether it's gifts or whether it's something else like that is um, to take. But they, they don't, they're just now learning that you're not, you're different. You know, but they're scared to talk to you. And they're trying to do their best. They feel like if they avoid you, avoiding you, it might be avoided attachment style. If they avoid you, the, the feelings of love is going to go away. But it's not Scorpio. You know, um, you have this to, uh, you know, soulmate energy here. Don't block me, YouTube. Uh, but the lover's card is saying you're soulmates. And you're, you're together and spiritually, even if you haven't seen this person in a while. And you know what I'm talking about. This person's sitting thinking about how to win you back. Because you're, you're pretty strong right now, Scorpio. And it's like, you know, they feel like this love might be fading because they don't see you fighting anymore, arguing. And you have the Ace of Cups on the bottom. You have the Knight of Cups in reverse. And there's the King of Swords. They're ready to talk to you, right? And you got the Empress here, but... They're ready to talk, but at the same time, they're not ready to... They want to offer a new slate, a new love. Uh, they're not ready to come forward to you to offer it, even though they do love you. They're just scared. They're scared you're going to reject them here. King of Swords is saying, you know, I want to come out of that energy of not being able to talk to you because I miss you and... Even though if we can just, I just miss everything about you. Even though if we don't get to be together in a relationship, they want to at least keep you in part of their life. And I'm not, I'm not saying that as a casual thing because that's not what you're wanting. Um, but they want to keep you somehow. Uh, they feel like the timing is wrong with this Ace of Cups. The love for the timing was wrong. That's why they're keeping quiet. They don't know how to handle this situation. Yeah, because the Ace of Cups about new love. But in this case, with that Nine of Cups, I feel like they're not ready. And they weren't ready to offer all that love that you were giving them. And the t I, But they know the time is kind of running out. But it was the wrong timing to get this love from you. Which they know they're never going... That's the part that they don't understand with themselves here is that, why now? You know, I never had this feeling before. And they want to come out of, you know, the King of Swords energy and meet up with you as a Queen of Swords. Hmm. Let me just see. But the Empress is here. They do see you as someone beautiful. 
and that you're loving and great. But tell me about this King of Swords. Clarify the King of Swords. So we're going to finish up this reading, Scorpio. So what is this King, what is a uh, Scorpio person planning to do? What was the most, li most likely outcome? They want to tell you why they left this situation. And they, they that's the part that's been holding them back to. They're not able to tell you why they left and why they went quiet and all that. Now, I haven't seen anything about options here, but I do see the Three of Pentacles. They could have, and the Three of Swords. They could have had someone else, a third party, a family member, a job. Or they could have the, you know, the Three of Swords is about pain. Um, they got hurt too. because they, they didn't even know they hurt themselves when they walked away from you. Yeah. I think they're going to want to come see you. Again, that temperance is on reverse. They're hoping to find... Oh, my gosh. Look, there's this... See what I'm saying, Scorpio? I'm sorry. I got surprised here. Uh, you, They want to come see you. Have a person that's wanting to come back. They might be traveling. They might be... But they're headed back towards you. They want to find some kind of... Um, they don't... They run out of patience or something, too, where you have ran out of patience a long time ago. But they do feel like you're their happiness and you brought good things to their life. And that's really hard to find. And they know that, Scorpio. So they are trying to get in this this secure place to be able to, be able to face you, I guess. Because they think if they come knock on your door, call you, like, hey, what do you want? You remember when you did this? Like, da 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 um, they don't, they just hope in that they can just explain to you and because they feel like you're going to go on attack with that queen of swords, but they're not here to attack you. Um, the justice card is here is about, you know, they're finding that truth and that balance when they come back here to, like I said, even though if it was the wrong time for them to be in love with you because of jobs or situations or they just didn't know what they wanted, but they want to tell you. And it's going to be a, and when you, when they're coming forward to tell you, that's going to take a lot of uh, vulnerability, a lot of opening up. And I think this is the part that they're feeling like they need to get it out because it's starting to eat on them. Their conscience is eating them because you're such a good person to them that they, they know you didn't deserve. But again, you were dealing with somebody who was emotionally in a person who was not emotionally intelligent so with a page of cups in reverse. It's almost like an immaturity in, in relationships. They just never had a serious, loving relationship. It's just like, you know, not knowing how to write your name. That's how it is. They just didn't have the background to feel that kind of feelings before. And you shocked them. All right? You became like this, this beautiful gift in their life. Twice, look at that Scorpio. The last card and the first card is the sun card. I'm telling you the truth. You both were at one time was really happy with each other. And I feel like they know that it's a deep connection here to be happy between the two, right? It's like a point A, point B makes a straight line. So anyway, Scorpio, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Um, I thank you again, Scorpio. If you'd like a personal reading, reach out to me in the description box with my email and PayPal information. Um, please watch the videos, but make sure you give me that thumbs up like. Do, do, thumbs up <laughs> if you could. Um, make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know what this person is, um, what had happened. Do you know why this person walked away? Do you feel that this person is still in your energy? Just give me some kind of feedback on this, on this reading. You know, what do you think about it? Was it, does it resonate for you? Did it help you in some way? I, my whole goal is to help you, help you understand about what your person went through. Okay. Or, and also what you went through, but they do have some love here. They just don't know how to give it. Okay. But they want to. Okay. All right, Scorpio. I will see you on the next read and I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.